Hello once again. I have another very quick tip for you on how you can use very skinny fonts in Silhouette Studio and make them work for cutting out with cardstock or vinyl or whatever it is you're using. I'm going to choose a certain font that I've got on my system. It's called Seriously and it's very, very thin. And then I'm going to use a tool to thicken it up so that it will work well. Okay, so here we go. This is my font and I'm just going to use the word seriously because that will work just fine. And as you can see, if I zoom in on this, this is really, really thin and it's going to be very difficult to cut out and to work with. So what I need to do is I need to use the, uh, forgetting the name of it, the offset window and I'm going to create an outer offset so that it will thicken up this font. And to do that, you need to go back to the offset window and choose offset. And now you're going to see that it's gone a little bit way too far. And so I'm going to bring that down to zero. And then I'm going to go gradually and watch the font as I'm do clicking this up arrow here is just creating a line that's just slightly thicker. I'll zoom in so you can see that. See what I mean? And then once I've done that, I can take away the inside and I'm left with this right over here. If I can zoom back out again, you're going to see the difference over here. Now this is going to be much easier to work with than this would be. Of course, you're going to lose some definition. I'll show you again by zooming in. Uh, where was it? This little bit of a hole where the y, in the Y isn't showing up here. Okay, you've lost that. But you can still tell that this is a Y, so it doesn't matter. Um, and in this case, the word that the letters have welded together automatically because they're thicker, except for right here and right over here. And if you wanted to fix that up, all you need to do is select your pieces and use your arrow keys to move them over a little bit so that they're just slightly overlapping. Same thing over here Well, I'm going to move the Y in because otherwise I'm going to mess up the first part there. So now, and then all I do is I draw a box around that to select everything and I weld that. And now you'll see all my letters are welded except for the dot on the I. So you always have to watch out for your dot on your I. And if you wanted to attach that to your I, you could do that too. Bring it over maybe slightly a bit and then bring it down so that it's just touching and you can weld that as well. And you don't have to worry about the dot on your eye. Maybe it looks a little bit weird. Maybe you're okay with that. It's all up to you. And again, this didn't have to be as thick as that. I'm going to do it again over here and I'm going to have it zoomed in so you can see clearly. I'm going to bring this back down to zero, the offset distance. And then I'm going to gradually click on these up arrows until it's just a little bit more. That's very slightly more. And I'll click apply. And again, I'll move away the inside. Now you see less of your fonts, uh, sorry, less of your letters. I think not, no, none of the letters have welded. And look at the difference in the thickness here. You see here, it's just not as thick as the first example. So I hope that helps you out. 